hello lovely family welcome once again to the channel and today we'll learn something interesting we'll learn how to make a cow jumpsuit or a cow pant if you're new to my channel you're welcome kindly subscribe if you've not done so already and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for keeping it real with me So I have my fabric on the floor because my table will not be wide enough to explain to you the steps I'll be taking in making this jumpsuit. So this is 50 inch and the fabric is on fold which is a total of 100 inch width. So that's like two and a half meters of fabric. What I've simply done is to fold the fabric into two. Hold on that edge. If you saw my video of the skirts cow skirt making is not far from what we are making here it's something similar the only difference is that this one comes in pair so we have it on both sides of the leg that's the only difference so now when this fabric is on fold you hold this edge hold that edge and place it on the other side the okay, case is our edge and we're aligning this to the other edge so we're going to measure the crotch on this side and this will be the inseam then around this edge will be the side of our pants okay and this will be the waistline okay so now you just confirm that this side is wide enough for what you want for me it's too wide i don't want mine looking this wide so I want to reduce it to make it slimmer on the legs while retaining the cows or the curves on the sides. So how to do this is to hold onto that edge and push it away. Just take it in a bit more, okay? By the time you take it in from that line, you're reducing it. You're going to confirm that this is the length of your pants, okay? So that's the inseam you're using. The full length, from your waistline to the ankle you're going to apply that along this line now what do we have from our full length from our waistline to the ankle is 40 inch but we're not going to work with that we're going to add three inches to that because we have to extend our crotch you don't want your crotch talking into your bone when you wear your jumpsuit so if it's for a normal pant, you will leave it exactly how you want the crotch to be. For example, if your crotch depth is 10 inches, you're going to measure 10 inches and you mark it there. But if you're making a jumpsuit, you have to make it longer than what it is so that it will not get into your bone when you wear it. Okay, so we're adding 3 inch to that. So instead of working with 10, we're making it 13. Okay, then you add half inch for your seam allowance at the top is 13.5 for your crotch depth now measure from that waistline just to confirm that you have the length you need for your pants you measure 40 inch that's 40 inch okay then you're going to add two inch for your hemming allowance that's half inch seam allowance on the waistline and 1.5 for your hemming on the ankle remember that we're trimming out these excesses so you're measuring from this point okay now confirm that what you have here is enough for your ankle so we're trimming this part out if you're making a straight cut jumpsuit on the waistline what you simply need to do is to measure straight from that point onto the side, mark your straight waistline. So instead of cutting on this straight line, I'm going to slant it. So you could divide your hip circumference by four, then you get 11 inches, or you sit on a flat surface just like this and get your measure from the waistline to the top of that surface. Whatever you get will be your crotch depth. Better still, you can measure your out seam minus in seam will be your crotch 
dead. So whichever formula you want to use, they all come out fine. Now, we're going to use the one you divide your hip circumference by four. But you remember, we said we're going to add, we're going to add three inches to our actual crotch depth. So, so that would be our crotch depth. Measure 2.5 inwards. So we're going to create our crotch. So you can make it up to 3.5 for the back crotch so this part comes at the back and this comes at the front now let's cut this so this is our front that's for the front and this is for the back so we'll extend our crotch again for the back from the actual waistline you measure 20 inches upwards then when you mark that you're going to connect that straight to the waistline to your diagonal line connect to the waistline or better still you just measure from your waistline then you cut it straight If you want a pocket, just create a pocket on this side, okay? Create a pocket around this side, depends on the kind of pocket you want. You can just cut a straight line or you make a little curve at the front part. Just the normal way you create pockets for your pants. So next, we're going to cut the bodies. So for the bodies, just transfer your pattern, transfer your body's pattern front and back. And we're going to make some modifications on this. To create your shoulder darts, and remember to extend by your one inch i've already explained this when i was making the princess that just refer to that video after watching this one so that you know how i got to this point okay so for the back as well i created the um ample that so that's the major modification on this now on the back as well you need to eliminate your zipper zipper bulge by 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 from the waistline go inwards okay all these have been explained when i was drafting my pattern so refer to the video of the vid of the basic bodies pattern as well as the princess that pattern both of them will be linked in the description of this video we need to create our bask for the waistline so to do this this is our waistline actually but we want that extension to get to the hip line remember what we did when we were cutting our uh, pants so now from your waistline just measure two inches or 1.5 then you're going to connect that straight to your hip line so from the side on the back we're measuring 1.5 inches we're not connecting to the hip line you're going to measure from your waistline you're going to measure four inches so with these modifications now, we'll just go ahead and cut our pattern. Then we'll now place on fabric and cut straight away. Okay, when I cut them, I'm going to prepare my bodies. Then we'll attach, I'll show you how to sew on the pants on it.
overlocking all round as you can see we need to now sew our crotch okay so this is the front crotch and that's the back crotch okay this is what it looks like that's the front and that's the back crotch you can see that the back crotch is uh, longer than the front one now this is the inseam this side is the inseam okay and that's the bottom the ankle okay and this this part will go on the waistline this part it will go on the waistline okay right, so what we want to do now is to join our front crotch we join the two of them so we have two of that that's the second one so that's the front and this is the back for the second one as well okay so what you do now is to join this front one to the other front one okay so join two of them and you're going to sew just sew that then you join the back one as well okay so this goes to the back you're going to join that as well so turn it the other way That's the back one. You're going to join it to so join the back crotch as well. I've sewn my back crotch and the front one. Okay, so this is the front and this is the back for the back you don't need to sew it uh, to the waistline so you just stop halfway because uh, you need to create an allowance for your zipper so that's what i did i just left out a little a few inches to attach my zipper but i finished off the front one now that's our inseam so what we need to do next now is to hem our bottom so the legs we're going to fold and hem these legs then we'll sew the inseam ordinarily this kind of style you don't need a lining but because my fabric is see-through i'm going to line it just around the hip and for that i've cut um, a little piece of my lining just i just cut it straight away then i made my front crotch and the back crotch. I'll just sew it onto the crotch. I've finished off the crotch, the inseam, and the bottom. So that's our bottom, that's the inseam. And I've finished off the crotch as well. So now we'll go ahead and pleat. We need to measure our bodies and see what we have. Then we'll use that as a guide to pleat, okay? So for the back, we need to measure from here. Just make sure you shape this to your actual size, okay? You can wear it before you start doing the pleats. Now, for the back, we've got 20 inches. 
then we also measure the front so we'll start from the side and measure and for this one we have 26 inches so 26 at the front and 20 at the back so now we'll start splitting
finally you sew on your zipper on the back and you're ready to wear your jumpsuit i'll show you the outcome after sewing the zipper thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate your time kindly subscribe to my channel if you don't know and turn on the notification bell as i upload videos on this channel every week and you don't want to miss any of those like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video Bye.